And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Ready to continue the series, part two. Let's get into it. Peggy's trying to get to know me. It's like, we don't have time for this, Peggy. All right, shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. Oh. That's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. You're sorry? Why? Did you do it? Of course not. I only... I'm just messing with you. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. Yikes. She wanted to forget dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry mm. to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. Yeah, don't ever give somebody I'm short nicknames like that. that it's not cool. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Hell no! Me? You sure you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Hold on. Okay, Peggy. <laughs> okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Okay. How do we... Oh, nasty-ass bathrooms. Ain't this the employee bathroom? Like, why is there piss on the floor? Oh, hold on. Let's hit the rooftop. You're not going to let me hit that rooftop? Oh, my gosh. No notes I can read. Okay. I like this. Let a player in. What do we got? Some maze? Okay. Oh, yeah. W cat pictures. Hold on. Barb? I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. You owe me five bucks for the festival ticket. Oh my gosh. Imagine getting dumped by like the worst note written to mankind. That's actually nuts. Wow. Like, oh my gosh. I need a key to get in there. I feel you on that. I didn't miss any drawers over here, did I? Okay, no. Okay, hold on. Um... Genie. No, let me get this one. 
There is none. Okay. A tape play on air. In no way. My little bit go away. This is like, oh, this is nasty over here. This job is nasty. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lives. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Um, that uh, uh <clears throat> wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks, it won't happen again. There's no way the killer got from the newspaper to hear so quick. I know. What is this one? What was that one that we got? Oh, 104. It was like 1214. You see what I mean? I again. look over at the chat Mrs. and somebody McKenzie says, for the fuck tip. Arby's. The Back from my last like video, whistle. at we'll any point, Arby's will get brought up in a conversation and catch a stray. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. <laughs> this Great one's for all that. those folks out there keeping their hatches Major back. Thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Bro, I'm over here discovering clues, and you want me to do what? I'm on my way. Or try your call again. Ugh, straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm okay, calling Gina. because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank. I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you all right? I don't worry about Gina. You know how she is. But yeah, I can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. Final, Final breath. breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight. The next call will be much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher? Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. <sighs> I love Roddy. I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. Oh, I gotta go get the album. I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Okay. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing downstairs. knife and easy track reception. is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Sues the pants off us? She can't sue a... What? I don't even know where the record's at. I was already down here, sweetheart.
Dateables? Oh, this is not cool, bro. This game's gonna be insane. I don't need this right now, but I already know I'm going to need it. What do we gotta... the final breath at will my love go to where don't mess it up it's crazy there's no way it's like one of these right need to keep Bro, where this record at? I mean, is this not reception? We're just bringing all items in this room, bro. Oh, it is one of those tape things for the flies. This must be it. Final breath. Oh, me. My tiny selection grows. Oh, me. Oh, me. Straw Hat Saucy came through and saved the day. Thank you so much for saving the stream and the video. Because Lord knows I would have checked every record on the wall. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. I don't know why it's like bugged out. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. Hey, yo. He and more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Okay. Okay. Veronica, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate you. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. When you're ready, shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Which is still is insane. Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Okay. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, and most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Oh, me. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Prove it. Come face me. Okay. A true warrior at the 
Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Guess what? Are you gonna kick his ass, Murphy? God damn right! I'm gonna kick his ass! Okay. I got all the tapes. He definitely has a, a Desert Eagle and a Make America Great hat again. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Oh, no. Handle it, though. Handle it, though. Please, let me go Ladies home. And gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. I don't know, Forrest, I don't know why you're acting all weird and anyway, pessimistic. Like, I'm not even mad we'll right at that. Back after this commercial. Are we gonna really get like nine other records? Be right back after what? We didn't. I can't full blast the music anymore. What happened? Time to play a commercial. Aye, aye, Captain. Like, what the fuck? You need to play a commercial cassette. Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because... That, that tape sucked. I wanted to listen to that one. The world-famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, oh, that's Can enough Jam, corn, Jam, bro. Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbing, firearms, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, seats, bitten sand, chicken cracker cramming, and cat shop. And fake tattoo face painting puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dance and story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee. And sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous sword. Oh, I could turn on the max volume down and turn the volume down. Right, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. Oh my God! I swear nobody's going to that festival because of the radio ad. Famous. It's a highlight around here for us. Oh. I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. Right? All right, folks. Welcome back to back the show. Back on air. I we love that have sign. A note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. We got a caller. You know what to do. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. I know, oh, but like, caller, let me do it. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest. Nash. Here we go. <sighs> Who's there? Who is this? <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, you forgot you to say 911. What's your emergency? He called me. That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me. Jesus. Okay, listen, caller. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or...? Sure. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, caller? I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Oh, that's a okay. lot of pressure. I'm trying. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm, I'm, oh God. What's your address? Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. So... So she's like, what do I do? And I'm like, do this. Option one, that one seems logical. Ah, I can't. Okay, process elimination. How about the next option that looks semi-dees? 
Oh, I can't. Then what the fuck do you want? Then, then, then do the one that you want. Why are you giving me three options? Oh, I'll crash out Just right now. Down the street. You live by a frat house. Sorry. Yes, they're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Fun covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to You better join that party and start <sighs> slamming. Virginia, hey, what's the yo. name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't. Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... I'm about to turn we around, everybody out. upsetting me. I just don't if even want to look at that no more. Frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Okay. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Oh. Find out. Don't be a child. This is life or death. I can't do this. Oh, bro. Oh, shit. Well, oh. folks. Seems like our Virginia. I'm not a up. cop, bro. Well, That's how I would handle it. That's how I did. Order. I'm not a cop. Here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Peggy, what places do take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well, there's the barbecue place, grilling spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Grilling spree. Oh, and of course we have Ponty's Pizza. That's Chupa it, I think. Chupacabras? And then Polly's Pizza or some dumb shit? Ponty's. I mean, like, why are they not in order? Let's be real. Um, so the, it's 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 either there. Okay. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way. Sounds like there? a fucking nightmare. Not that I can see. You know, it's things like this that make me hate this town. Complain after you save her, Forrest. Oh my god. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. You know, Peggy, why don't you just like come out? Come out of that door. God, where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or uh there's nothing. I just have to look around. Chalupa Cabra. Hmm. Okay. Anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? On uh, second thought, let me look not. around a little right. more. Don't take too long. Virginia needs our help. Come on, move. I think that was it. The frat. Frat, pro uh, frat probably ordered some Pete's. 
I could see that. I could see them ordering some peats. Bro, how many rats do we have in this building? Let's get the fuck. Locked. For now. Oh. Oh, so close. Oh my gosh. That's not opening. More rat traps. So many locked doors, so few keys. The coffee room down here, like... What's going on? There's so many items I can grab, it's almost confusing. So the killer's gonna be in this house and I'm gonna have to use these things to like loop them and shit, but like... Let's see. That's what these items are for. Oh. Be able to throw shit. Then he's gonna go whistle over there. Oh, bro, I really wanted to game on that. I didn't see any pizza. Wait. Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Money's pizza. Interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. Oh my god. Let me get the wrench. Something's not right with that. I need the wrench. I'll be right back. We got a leak, honey. I gotta fix it. And just in case, leave that there. Here we go. Like, be so serious. Come on. Right, I'm just gonna leave it here because I already know. And there's no way those tools go together and they just don't work. The game just won't let me do it right now, which is fine. So, look, we got, um... Chupacabras and bros. So that means they ordered from uh, the grilling uh, spree. Was that the name of the place? Wasn't it grilling something else? Find anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great. I'm ready. Are you ready to get back yes. on the line? Yes. Let's make the call. Come on. Time to turn the music off. Okay, Forrest. What'll it be? Call grilling spray. Okay. 
The Grill Reaper is on the line. You're through to growing spree. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Fratman calling. We're in major need of foods for dudes. Uh, can I just have your order? I want ribs, big ribs, for my frat house, brothers. Right. And where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Same address? All right. We'll get it to you soon. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? A note? Okay. You better tip for this. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. I, I think I might be just off my rocker. I think I did it right, but maybe I'm so wrong that it's like seeming right. I think I'm doing really good though. Aside from the three people that died, I'm doing really good right now. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. You mean equally good? Yeah, not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right, so between grilling spree and chalupa cobras. I mean, it depends. Oh, you suck, say an Philippines? option! Or do I want really, really good nachos? Are they it can nachos? change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, nachos. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Uh, this is Dudley from the Brotherly Fraternity of Engineers. Uh, I have a note to call you. Hey, weird question, uh, but you aren't the only ones on your street tonight, are you? No, sir. I think everyone on the street is in tonight. Uh, yeppers. Uh, I've just visually confirmed it. Uh, I see cars in the driveways and a couple of lights on. Uh, everyone's in, yeah. Oh, and you've not been throwing a loud party all night, have you? I certainly hope we haven't disturbed our neighbors. Uh, why do you ask, sir? Forrest, we have a new Definitely call drinking a prime. Forrest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16, The Stream. Forrest, it's the whistling man. He's at the door. He's... Oh, my God. I don't even know what you want it's me to you, do, Virginia. So what did I do wrong? Damn it, Peggy. This scheme was never going to work. This was your idea. Really, Forrest? You're blaming me for this? The plan was fine. You just sent it to the wrong place. Hey, I tried my best. To everyone listening, I know things look bad. They gave me three option, three food options. I found two in my office. I chose the last one. It wasn't that one. I'm dumb somehow. Please don't lose faith. We will stop this whistling man. And I think Virginia may have just given us the clue we need. <sighs> what was that about Clive? I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but... Nah, is as good as you, mine. you're the killer. Right, you're gonna folks. get me killed. I already Seems know it. We may have a lead. I'm just ready. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Uh, slam dunk. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Ooh, terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? 
Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Oh, what small business do you own? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you asked, it's Porty's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in town! Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Ponty, no! No free ads! Again. I wonder what would have happened if we Again. called Ponty's instead. Peggy. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. Oh my god, it's so stressful doing this because I keep making wrong decisions and then you just keep pushing my back telling me to go more. And it's like, bro, like... Oh my god. Oh, waiting for us. Uh, all right, Peggy. All right. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? Sure, Art Collar. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. Looking up at the stars and waiting for her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. Bali. Planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening oh. all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Give me the Bingo. answers or the Here's options. What I was looking for. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly! I'm in the middle! It'll take a little while to get here, but, uh, thanks again, Forrest. It's been good talking. Oh, wait a second. Molly can't whistle. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life! Not the worst! Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. Carm! I'm about to die a virgin! Listen, Eugene, breathe, hide, and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. This is the hardest one, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, yeah, Eugene. Well, listeners, while Peggy get ready. and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. How the hell am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a maze maze fanatic. Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. Found That'll it. hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh... Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Thank you. She sits at reception, never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Jealous. Right, yeah, sorry. Jealous I guess of Brad. No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Yeah, Eugene needs to go home. I told him to go home to his parents and then... Yeah, and now we're revisiting it again. I'm an idiot. Down, 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 down.
Well, I already got the maze. That's all I needed, right? Down, 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 down. I just wanted to double check, but I'm pretty sure I was like, I already have everything. I made the noise when I picked it up, so I just assumed. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Peggy, right now. you tell me. You You've been sus all Barbara night. Later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Why can't I shoot? Oh, now you want to shoot all dumb? When you're ready, shut the music off. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze, Eugene. You're back on air. <sighs> I'm lost, Forrest. Eugene, GG. He's right and there. I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. Oh, sorry. Uh... There are hay bales painted gold on my right. He's at a crossroad facing the tractor. Bro needs to go left. Go left. Okay. Okay. I went left, then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me and a creepy rocking horse on my left. Oh. Go oh, backwards. Go backwards. Oh, God. Why didn't I just invite her over? Oh. I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Oh. Which way? Oh, what? He's at crossroads pitchforks at the at the head. Bitch, you better go left. Go left. Oh, this wasn't how to expect to go. Why is this the guy that gets saved? Let's go, Eugene. You're gonna get that dick wet. One day. It ain't tonight. I promise you it's not tonight. Uh, there's a tiny barn in front of me. Okay. And a scarecrow behind me. Nothing to my sides. Go right. I can't run much more. I just passed a cordon silo. Didn't see anything else. Please. Where do I go? He passed the corn silo? That's so indirect. Is he, y'all, is he at this corner? Is he like, he just passed it and didn't see anything else on the way. Look, he's at that number nine right there. Bro, you gotta go right, bro. Go right. I'm out. And my bike's still here. Hey, get on that bike. Get oh, the hell out. Thank you, you pulled up to a date on a bike. I'm not getting I think my I held flowers my today. The whole time. I think it went pretty well, I was told. These. <laughs> I think you're right. These. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? 
Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Yeah, we knew that. You, oh my God, Forrest, there's no way. You talk to Eugene on the phone. There's no way that like- Thank you for calling in Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Next caller is up, Forrest, so take it away. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Thank you. That's really wonderful of you to say. What's your name, Collar? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. All right, folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that That's song. why I'm like... What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but, uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the hey, trash? what the fuck? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window earlier today. Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. Oh, Peggy, you need to get fired. I'll repeat because he knows I don't like it. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. For shame, Peggy, for shame. Like, did we just travel back into the 1800s? All right. So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just play a different song. Oh, Peggy, We've got you more suck. important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks, here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow. Night. Sorry. Of all the songs to request, why did it have to be that one? See, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? That's what I'm Wrote saying, that Peggy. Song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. Like, I get it, but like, damn, like, you work at a radio Scotty? show. Y'all aren't playing oh, the best songs. Scrap the song. We have another caller. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nat. That was her ticket. Forrest. Oh, thank God. It's me again. Murphy! Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. I... Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? Uh, that's not important right now. Just tell me what happened. Goddamn piece of... Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now, or I'm gonna die. America! Peggy, get the fire department on the line. On it. All right. I think it's just 911, but that's okay, Peggy. Come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. Yep. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? What? Could you imagine? Sorry, it, cars oh, in God the shop. God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. They oh, can't do wow. anything. Wow. But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can. Are they gonna pull up with their hose? Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street, and Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east. No, of bitch. No, bitch. Too many friends. Too many addresses. You're good. There's no way this is real life. Myers Lane. 
But he's old. Really old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. No, I, I don't rem... Thank you. Holy hell almighty. Alex lives on the corner of Haddington Field. First things first, where the fuck is that? Haddington, F Haddington Field Road? Oh, what a dog shit name. Sorry. Um, right next to Romero Street. Alex living right there. I don't like how big that post it is, though. Boom. Catherine lives at the end of... Oh, wait, wait, okay. Fuck is Myers Lane? Okay. Somewhere over here, disc. Where my where my sticky notes? Where's B? Oh, it's right there. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's one of these houses over here. Discs, discs. Um. Old Man Jericho. One of those houses. Fire department. Get more and get more fire engines. Yeah, that's not on my to do list, bro. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Man, you could call Catherine. Call Catherine. All right, give me a second. Like, she got the closest shot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It should be Alex, because the old man not going to do shit. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. I thought it was at the fire department, but it's it's the waste place. The waste is in the top right corner. Coming in. It's Catherine. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Oh Lord, please don't let me get two bodies off of this. Hello, Catherine, are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? Oh, them things up in smoke. I... God damn it, I'm going in. Oh, Catherine, a real one. <gasps> oh, my reception is terrible in here. God, my eyes stink. Murphy, can you see anything at all? Yeah, I got a little flashlight. Yeah, I brought my flashlight down by the river. Bottles, yeah, newspaper. What does it say on the newspaper? It's uh, the Henderson headline. What was that? My reception. Get the fuck out the building. Everybody get out the building. Tell me where to go. Go to personal storage. Man, go, if you're gonna go in, go in. Got it. Okay, I'm here. I. Oh, Forest. Everybody. Coming down. I gotta go. Forest. <coughs> Listen. My boy, Fernando. Give him a message. My final words. Uh, it's not my kind of thing. Forrest. What the hell, man? Oh, oh, mother. Oh, oh God, Murphy. Poor Fernando is going to be crushed. Yeah, Fernando will be crushed. Just like his dad. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> poor kid. Forrest, that... I wasn't trying to set you up for a punchline. No, I know. Ugh. Murphy, I promise we will stop this. For you and for Fernando. Peggy, it's going to...
I don't know. They're not giving me enough clues. And also, this is my first day at a radio show host job. I'm not a fucking officer. I'm not a SWAT agent. I'm none of the above, okay? All right? I had a sandwich for dinner. Like, what the fuck is going on, bro? I don't, you say Joe with nine periods at the end of it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I literally don't care. Be all right. Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. We have no time to waste. You give me no time to breathe. That's probably why I'm fucking up. It's just boom, 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 firing the gun at me, bro. Hit like, where are the rest we of the- caller. Oh my God, and then you still like spam me. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I don't... I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this awful time. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Oh, Teddy. Okay, Teddy. We... I know you're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Like, I, I can't hear that man anymore. I want to make sure I get this out on air to all of Gallows Creek. You're a real prick, Teddy. I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200... Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. All right, shut the fuck up, Teddy. You know what? I do have a problem. A problem that's ruining our town. You know what it is? Yeah, how about the goddamn serial killer? The problem is that woman, our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Hey, Linda I wish Cartwright I could get ads right now, bro. Put me on an ad too, bro. You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it... Your producer sounds a little unstable too. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of... And that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. I pray he calls back needing time. help. I pray. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us. I need a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. Yeah, that guy is just way too much, bro. He just yaps and yaps and yaps, and he like got like the worst shit to say too, and the worst attitude uh, to back it all up and tie it all in together. This Rex Quando. The power of the alligator. I mean, the discipline of the tarantula. The speed of the tuna. The poise of the scorpion. And the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five thirty minutes. What a blessing that volume knob is. Oh my god, I don't gotta hear none of that shit. This will be my moment of peace and clarity when I have to run the ads and I can just turn everything down and just think. So what's been happening lately? Oh, I don't know. I've just been losing every challenge possible. It's like, damn, bro. They give you so much to do in this game, bro. I was hype off of this. I was hype off of this right here. 
People start dying. I start getting, getting people killed. What, what, what's happening? Jesus. You know, after what happened with Murphy, I think... Yeah, we should take that out of rotation. Uh, kind of a shame, though. It is pretty fun. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Apologies, folks. We must have left that tape in rotation by accident. I think it's fair to say that's one deal you can skip. But what you can't skip is what our next caller has to say. Caller on oh. line one. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Uh, I'm a little immune hello. to this shit at this caller. point. You better be talking this? when you call. I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. That's him. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. Okay. God damn it. She's just a kid. Is there a way out? Can you run? Oh my god. Oh my god. You stay with me, kid. Focus. There. I, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me. What's, what's her name going to do right now? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Someone's in the backyard. Fuck her name. Carrie. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there, all right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. There's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms. The Not old there. murder house? Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? The old murder house? Man, go to a closet. Go to the closet. Okay, I'll... If she dies because I pick closet, I really don't care. Don't move. Do not move, clown shoes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. This has to be a joke. This has to be a joke. Forest! Oh fucking! What should have been your face? What? 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 Are you? Are you kidding me? Okay, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke. Jeez. Wait, isn't that? Jimmy, that wasn't funny. You of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. What guy? Forrest Nash. What the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. We're just having fun. That's the kid. Prank the kid night? Who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. Jimmy, everyone, it's really not That's not, not safe how I wanted him to, to say it. Please. Go home. And waste whistling night? <laughs> no way. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. Killer's in, the, in the building. He about to go ape shit. Uh, wait. Oh no. Who are you? Oh, no, I'm hit. See ya, Jimmy. On to the next one, Jimmy. Everyone, get inside! Everyone, run! You gonna barricade the house and he's in the crib with you. You better run. We're safe, right? 
You bought time, but not much. Forrest, we have to... Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. And I'm Who is shooting paper carry? balls into a My trash friend, can. We drove out to the old murder house and... Oh, of course! The van! Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Okay, okay. It's gonna be okay, Carrie. Right. Right. We'll figure something out. Like, okay, I just want, if anyone's watching it and they're like, he, he just like sitting here throwing paper balls into a trash can. Yeah, correct, true. But the thing is, it's like, I, I didn't I didn't boot up this game because I thought I was gonna be a police officer. I would have more sympathy and I would be in my, like, I would be in my bag. I'd, I'd be talking about freeze. But like, it's not it's not really the case and I don't really have sympathy for these people because they're dumb as hell. What do I do? I don't know who you are or where you're at. I don't even feel like being Between a cop. All of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're going to get killed. Oh my god, then what do you want to do? See what I mean? Jeannie? Crash out simulator. Jeannie McPherson? Our oh intern Jeannie? Oh my god, now yes. she She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Force, listen. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... Uh, and... No, no, Yeah, Chad. she's hanging out with Scott out and of Chad. All of us, you're not the ones... Oh. Uh, everything okay? No. We... Uh, uh, we're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things that are just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do, but I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker, or else these idiots are going to get us killed. But I... Shut up, you... Ugh. Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. Ugh. These damn kids never learn. They're just dumb kids. Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> um, I don't have a... I'm not playing song on... I'm not pl What? Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something- I know where use. her desk is. It's that creepy one in the corner by the front of the store. Because her mom wrote Peggy her a letter. Her desk is downstairs. Jeez, they really tucked Jeannie away. And what did I need? Maybe that. Friendship quiz. This might work. The fucking shit, hell? What a... I think I got it. Oh, man. All I'm seeing is on this list, first thing it says, Hot David. Imagine being the David that's not Hot David. Tough day for him. Very tough day for him. Okay. You find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one, whenever you're ready. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Let's give it a shot. 
Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Who should climb onto the roof? Somebody who's most likely to escape prison. Like, are you fucking serious? All right, hold on. Actually, I think it should be Hot David. I think Hot David should. It's either Heather or Kyle. Oh, wait, wait, there's... Hot David is one point, Kyle's one point, Heather is three points. Oh! Nah, they made this hella confusing uh, intentionally. Who's climbing? Prob prob probably Heather. Yep, yeah, Heather, you're going up there, sis. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two, the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Okay. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Uh, somebody who's breaking Seth, out of prison. Jennifer and Scott all want to do it. Jennifer's most likely. Seth is most likely to end up in prison. Yeah, Seth, you're not doing it, bro. Jennifer is likely to end up in prison too, but where's Seth on? Or where's Scott on this list? Scott don't do shit. He's like maybe gonna win an Oscar and like win go karting. Who should pick the lock? Jennifer, I guess. Jennifer. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Let's go. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. Carrie. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys. So You're not on the list. It'll probably be easier that way. Then is part four. This plan is, uh, <laughs> well, it's ambitious. Thank you. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. Who's running That's fast? Right. For this one, we're trying to decide between... Who was it again? Hot David. It's Hot David. Cynthia and Scott. Running away. Probably hot David. Cynthia, hot David, or Scott? I don't, I, I don't know. I, I definitely feel like it's got to be. Oh, wait. No, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I was right. Hot David. Hot David. <laughs> yeah, you uh, do spend a lot of time running shirtless. Carrie, focus. You got this, Hot David. Focus Sweet. harder. Okay. Pause. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Okay. Ooh. What's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. Part five, we trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? 
We got Lisa. Lisa. Tammy. I was gonna say. And Cynthia. Oh well, you know, it's between Lisa and Tammy because who could use acting? Okay, it's Lisa or Tammy. Now let's see their other attributes. Um, maybe Tammy? Because Tammy's not on the list to end up in prison. Oh, but Tammy has the worst poker face. Nah, bro. Lisa's it. Lisa's it. Lisa. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Come Finally, on, we're locked in, y'all. This can make up for everybody. Through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Ta Jimmy. 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 Who have we got? Jimmy is the only driver. Dad, Scott. Cynthia. Jimmy. Oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Jimmy not on the list? Dog, he's the only one who should drive. Jimmy's dead. No, yeah, I knew that. I was just, I was just like, damn, I wish Jimmy wasn't dead so he could drive type of shit. So, um, anyways, um, now that we know that he's dead, obviously, um, who we can pick is, uh, let, let's run through the list. Uh, maybe Scott. Um, um, um. Scott, I guess. I'm not gonna give this to Scott because he has two points in go karting. Like that's not that's not it's not the same thing. But that's all we got. It's literally all we got. I don't see Cynthia's name on this list. Except for the car crash one. That's a horrible list to be on. Yeah, Scott, it's up to you, bro. Scott. I know we all love watching American Skid. Yes, I... Yeah. Just do what they did in the movie. Uh... Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves. And then it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. Most likely to end up in it a car crash. Like a Scott has two plan. points. Scott has two points, bro. Is... Did I just... Did I just ace the test and then fail the last question and now every fucking thing I did is up in the air? I hope you're right. Yeah. That is literally help. horrifying. He better pull through. Oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live come on, man. with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Scott, come Most on, man. Discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go. Most course. likely to trip while doing a horror movie. Scott's also on that list. We're dead. Good luck. Come good on. Luck. Come on. And Godspeed. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Smarter. To the roof. Come on. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Run. Spotter says go. Run. Run. Okay. Ah! Lock picker, go. Hurry. Pick the lock. What's happening? <gasps> oh, Jimmy. Oh. Right, oh, Peggy in the back, like his face is like keys. Peggy. Carrie, you need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. Get oh, the keys God. now. Oh God. 
It's okay. It's his face, not yours. You got this. I didn't this. mean it like that. Right. Right. The van keys. They really got to work on the decision. Yeah. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. And hot David should be back any second. Oh, perfect. It's working. I can't believe it's actually working. You're doing great. Okay. Focus. You got this. Okay. We got this. Next step. Okay, Carrie. Trap the killer. All right, wait. Get into position. Everybody else. Everything's working. Hide. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends on it. Ah. Oh. There he is. Ah. He's buying it. Ah. Glad he is. These? Oh my god! He went through the floor! Oh, these, these! Spotter! You need to climb down now! We gotta go! He's coming down! And yes! Heather! Moment of truth! Right, everyone to the van! Moment of truth! Moment of truth! Everyone in the Spotter, van! Take the keys! Oh, here you go, driver! Go ahead, Scott! Oh my God, Scott! Don't. Gate swung shut. Scott! Huh? What? It won't stay open. I'll hold it. You drive through. Carrie. What was that? It's a whistling man. Drive now. Call uh, uh, safely. Blinkers, Scott. Blinkers, Scott. Did did he hit Carrie? Did Scott hit Carrie? Carrie got bodied because Scott doesn't know Carrie? how to. <sighs> Fuck, man. He just. He just stared at me. Carrie! Carrie? Just stared at me and walked into the woods. I don't understand. <laughs> Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? Oh my gosh. Carrie, and it was a great Peggy. Plan. Let me hold that credit. Peggy, let me hold that credit. Don't forget Janie. Her friendship quiz saved the day. Told you she was the best. I need to get home. I... That Three, round single-handedly got okay me now. way more immersed into the game than I ever have safe. been. Talk to you then. Folks, that was a. Uh... Right there, ladies and gentlemen. We are saving it, overriding it. Absolutely ending the recording right now. Man, oh man. I know, I know y'all watching this and everyone's like, okay, dude, like you got everybody killed. You barely saved two people. But that was a group challenge right there. So that last one actually made me feel a lot better. I'm feeling very these going into episode three. I'm feeling very these. Um... Thank y'all so much for watching this and supporting. Uh, leave a comment down below if you're enjoying this. And uh, yo, we'll see you in episode three, player. Yep, disc. <laughs> disc like peace? Uh. <laughs>